I would love to greet you wherever you are watching me, wherever you are hearing my voice. I would love to say to you, trusting God is not an emotion, but it's a decision that you make from the abundance of your own heart. It's a lifestyle that you choose to live by. Don't trust God based on how you feel. Don't trust God based on how you are feeling whenever you encounter some certain situation. But trust God based on what he has said in his own way. Remember, the Bible says, Blessed are those who walk according to the ways of God. And blessed are those who trust in him without having a feather's hovering whenever they encounter storms of life. Remember, those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be shaken, but endures forever. It is so important that our faith should never be shaken by what we see. Our faith should never be moved by what people do unto us. But we must know the God that we are serving. We must have an understanding that we are serving a God who is capable to change circumstances. Who is capable to make a turnaround when people are saying they will never happen anything in your life. We are serving a God who is capable to silence the storm. We are serving a God who is capable to rise and show himself mightily in the midst of enemies that are after to kill us. I'm saying to you, may you learn to trust God based upon his own will. May you learn to trust God knowing one thing that whatever you have said over your own life, it shall come to pass. Remember, God is not a man that you should lie. Neither is a of man that will change his mind. Whatever he says, it comes to pass. It doesn't matter how long you've been waiting to hear God answering your own prayer. I would love to challenge you wherever you are. And even in this moment, may you learn to depend upon his own wisdom. May you learn to depend upon his own leadership. May you learn to trust God. Even when people are saying nothing will happen in your own life. Remember, he who has promised is faithful to fulfill every single thing that he has said over your own life. I would love to tell you wherever you are that God can still perform a wonder in your own life. God can still do a miracle in your own life. God can still take you up. God can still pick you up in that storm that you may be passing through in your own life. I'm saying to you, learn to trust God based on his own will. Learn to trust God based on what he has said over your own life. Learn to depend upon God, not on what you know, not on how you feel as an individual, or, no, or what people are doing in your own life. Depend upon him. Even when people are, are taking you left and right, depend upon him. Even when people are after your own life, may you know one thing. He is still faithful to sustain you. He is still faithful to pick you up. He is still faithful to write a new story about your own life. It's not over yet. Until he says it is over with your life. Allow people to talk if they want to talk. Allow people to write you off if they want to write you off. But don't ever turn away from trusting God. Depend upon him. Even after people they have written you off. Even after people they have said all kinds of things about your life. I would love to tell you he's still with you. Even in the middle of the storm that you may be passing through in your own life. On this episode, I am signing out just a very strong from South Africa. Be blessed wherever you are.